Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. So today we are up bright and early. Say hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Well, no, say oh. hi to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> Okay guys, so we're on our way back home now. We finally passed the border. That line was like an hour and a half long. It was crazy. Um, luckily, we were okay. We don't have a passport, but we use our ID and our birth certificate. So that obviously really helped. Um, I got my blood work done and my EKG. Uh, you know, so they can check my heart and make sure that everything's okay. So, good morning, guys. So, um, we're here in Pasadena. I'm gonna get my COVID testing uh, before, obviously, surgery, because obviously that's a requirement now for anything that you do in this freaking world. Um, so, I have to do it, or like the latest or earliest I can do my testing is five days. So today's Monday, um, I came to Carbon Health here in Pasadena. about to be five o'clock in the morning and uh, we woke up at 4 30 to get ready but basically i feel like i literally got no sleep um obviously i was excited and stuff but i didn't feel like i was super excited to the point where i couldn't sleep but that's definitely how i felt and i felt like i got no sleep and i have like the biz biggest pegs ever but hopefully i'm gonna try to get some sleep on our way there and um Hopefully I feel better, but today's the big day. I'm so excited. Let me show you guys a <laughs> uh, before and after one more time before all this craziness happens. Um, so yeah. Is my outfit, um, I have this PJ set, and then my slippers going on. So obviously you can't really tell with black, but this is just how it looks okay ignore my double chip <laughs> uh, uh this is how it looks from the side quick update we haven't left yet but um i don't know i'm just like super nervous and obviously i know it's like natural with like getting surgery but it just sucks with like this whole covid thing like um i'm literally gonna get to the clinic uh the latest 7 7 30 and my surgery doesn't start till 10. Um, and then after the surgery, I do have to stay there for six more hours uh, so the doctor can see like how I'm reacting or, um, to the anesthesia. I'm not really... Sorry, my boo had called me, but... And I asked him like, okay, well, can my husband be there or my mother-in-law? And they said no. And it's just like, I'm like, what? Oh. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, I feel like they should at least allow one person to be there, uh, especially because I'm going to be, like, knocked out, and I don't know. So that just has me, like, really just stressed out and stuff, and um, I just feel, like, extra nervous about it, um, but, you know, I've definitely been saying my prayers and um, 
you know, praying that everything's gonna be okay. But. So I just got here and look like a mess, and my hair looks like a mess. We were supposed to braid it, but we didn't have enough time. Um, I'm whispering because I'm embarrassed. Oh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hear me. Um, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. They had me fill out paperwork already, and now I'm just waiting for a nurse or something. I'll keep you guys updated. surgery. I don't know how long I've been knocked out. Like, I have no idea. I'm not. My nurse came in so I got embarrassed but for um, four hours post-op uh, I definitely do feel pressure but it's wearable nothing that I can't take. Um, my throat's a little dry and they barely let me drink water now i haven't been able to drink water since eight o'clock last night or eat so i'm starving um she's actually gonna help me get a pass where instead of waiting in the long line on the water we're gonna take the fast route and that is gonna help us um i've been in contact with my family a lot my husband so they can know how I'm doing um for the most part I've been sleeping I tried watching Netflix but apparently apparently <laughs> I haven't because I fell asleep but now I feel a lot better like I'm awake um and the pressure on my chest is definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be but I'll definitely um, keep you guys updated on the next video, probably tomorrow. Um, because we're going to get home very late. And I'm just going to want to sleep. So, thank you guys so much for watching till now. And just wait a little longer. Hi, babe. So, I currently look like, well, my hair looks like a mess. But today... It is fourth day post-op. Um, I haven't really been filming, obviously, the past three days because i just, you know, been trying to recover and just, you know, not really be on my phone. I've been watching a lot of Netflix with my husband. We're currently at my mom's house. Um, she's been taking care of us, um, cooking for me, uh, showering and all that good stuff, but... I felt like I could come on here today and just kind of give you guys an update. It hasn't been easy, like, recovering. Like, I'm not going to lie. But it definitely wasn't, like, painful or just, like, like bad. I don't know. I felt like I watched other videos where people maybe... I mean, everyone's different, but, like, my pain tolerance is super high. So, yeah, definitely, like, it wasn't painful at all and... It's just like the whole, you know, getting up on your own and doing things like on your own because you can't really use your arms and things like that. But besides that, like it, it's it's it hasn't been bad. I mean, the sleeping is really uncomfortable. Um, I can't wait to, you know, sleep like a normal person because sleeping on my butt all night is like really not the business. I looked at my tatas today for the second time. Um and I really love them and I'm happy with the size that I went. I'm gonna do a Q&A. I was thinking of doing a Q&A so I can answer all the questions of like what size I went, you know, high profile, medium profile, like all those little details and just like my experience at Lotus Mesh Med Group, Dr. Compass's office in TJ. But I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I'm definitely gonna insert a picture of like my before and after but i'm gonna probably do it at my one week post-op just because i don't know i feel like you know that'll be the best um and that's when i actually go and get my stitches removed definitely be posting that because i've watched videos of like breast augmentation where they don't insert the before and after and i'm like this was pointless like i need it i need to see a before and after but yeah i'm gonna definitely put that in for you guys Hi, so i'm here for my post-up appointment 
and um, they're gonna remove the stitches. So I'm super excited. I feel like a lot better today. Like I could raise my arms and everything. So I'm so excited to finally feel better and be better. Okay, so I just wanted to close out this video today, Saturday, so the day after I went to go get my stitches removed. Um, so I never close it out because, you know, it's just, I, I didn't. But I just wanted to insert the pictures here of like my before and after. And then I also wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I also will be filming a Q&A answering all the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Again, thank you guys so much for, you know, just being interested, which it's cool, you know. I, I, I wanted to share my experience. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not promoting plastic surgery. You know, if you're against plastic surgery, then you shouldn't even be on this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.